Okay, we got a we got a Packard MX MX thirteen. Uh, I believe it's a 20, 2013, 2012. So uh, what we have is a uh, injector problem. So uh, let me show. You. So I'm using uh, I'm using J Pro today, but as you can see, we got injector uh, two and injector uh, six. Root cause unknown. So usually when you get a, a code like this. It's basically telling you, I don't know what's wrong. I can't see it, I can't measure it. Uh, I've done everything I could, I could do. It's your turn. So, um, when, I get, when I get calls like this, uh, one of the first things I'm gonna do is a relative compression test, and I'll show you that. So I'm gonna do the, uh, the relative compression test. Okay. Okay. So right there, these are my cylinders, and as you can see, they're all pretty, pretty even. Uh, right here, I can stop. It's not a, a cylinder problem. I don't have a leaking valve. You know, leaking rings, whatever. I, I, I don't have any of that. So uh, right here, technically, as far as the cylinder goes, it's sealing. We're we're good. So now I'm gonna go after the uh, the unit pumps. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the waveform for the uh, unit pumps. The yellow is the uh, the low pressure field sensor, and the green is I'm hooked to uh, unit pump number three. That that one was easier to get to. So we'll go and we'll go in the firing order. So that would be three, uh, six, two, four, five. I mean no, one, five, and then we're back at three. So we can see that we are we're, we have a drop in uh, fuel pressure on number uh, number six and number two and number four. So um, there you go. That's it's the unit pumps that are uh, that are acting it out. The longer the longer it runs, the worse it gets. When it starts up, it's cold. It, it it actually looks good the way it's supposed to. The longer it runs, let me see if I can show you. Uh, so anyway, uh, I didn't save that. Uh, I didn't save that waveform. So uh, started started raining or fixing the rain out there. So I, I just disconnected. But anyways, you can see I got six, two, and four that are bad. And if I let this truck run long enough, five starts to fall down too. Not as far, but it starts to fall down. So it's not it's not far behind either. But that's what he needs right there. Um, I'm not worried about injectors at this point uh, because of this is where the leak is happening at my uh, at my my unit pumps if this was looking good like all these right here and i was i was still having that problem then i'd i'd figure out a way to look at the injectors to because then i'd feel like that's where my leak was coming from but right here we have the solenoid it's supposed to shut it off you know it's supposed to you know fill the pump's supposed to fill up the fuel that's why you would over here and then it, it would close and it would spike Right here, the, the unit pumps are leaking. That's why the spikes are so low. So, uh, there you go. Uh, so that was a quick, uh, easy diagnostics. As you can see, I, I didn't I didn't take apart the engine to do this. It's accurate. I mean, six, two, and four, he'll replace it. Maybe five, hopefully. And, um, you know, we'll go do the testing again and, and make sure that everything is, was repaired. But, um, I mean that's the that's the way we go about doing this, but you know this one the, we do have a cylinder problem, but like I said, let's say number five. See, we have no code for five, and we have no code for four, right? So we have the codes for six and two, but as you can see, so as you can see, I mean it's not just six and two; it's four as well. And if I had stayed up there a little bit, maybe another 15 minutes or so, number five would have started to fall down. Number five, uh, number five would have started to fall down too. Not as far, but it would have started to fall down too. So number five is weak. So, yeah, my recommendation, replace all six. But you got to do what you got to do. So, you know, he'll bring me whatever it is that he wants to replace and we'll get this thing done. But this stuff, this stuff is... You know, like uh, like number four and number five having a problem and don't realize it, and this is what you know contributes to the excessive soot 
and you know some so you might be having a regen problem dpf problems and this is where it's coming from so i think it's important to look at look at stuff this way anyway i appreciate you watching thank you